and I, I'm extremely grateful to the water organizers to give opportunity to talk about um, this topic, which uh, I have been connected, as Michael said, for at least 11 years now. And uh, special, uh, special thanks to uh, Gordon Blauer for organizing this absolutely magnificent conference uh, in a very strange time for all of us. Thank you. Okay, uh, mu synthesis uh, interpolation problem and some uh, associated domains. Of course, uh, there are, uh, it, it's a huge area right now. And uh, mu synthesis problem, as Michael said, uh, they connect to uh, control engineering, but uh, I can't claim that I am uh, familiar with that area. But uh, we try to do as much as we can uh, to. Uh, get uh, at least uh, numerical solutions uh, for some problems. And we have succeeded in, uh, from my point of view, uh, in um, uh, baby problems like two by two, three by three. Uh, nothing has been done uh, that could be uh, applied uh, for uh, in, the, in domains in CN. So as Michael mentioned, uh, there will be, uh, I, I will talk about symmetrized by disk, I will talk about pentablock, uh, about tetrablock and uh, uh, polydisk. And we, we should start from um, classical Nevalina peak uh, problem. You have N points in disk and uh, so lambda one, uh, the disjoint and the uh, a sub one, A sub n, also in disk. And uh, the question is, does exist an analytic function from uh, disk to C such that uh, F lambda sub j is equal A sub j here. Yeah. And uh, we do want uh, to have this condition that uh, F of lambda mod will be uh, less than or equal to one for all lambda and z. So we go from disk to uh, closed disk. And it was uh, shown by peak in 1916 that this problem is solvable if and only if the peak matrix, which you can write very easily, is, is positive semi-definite. So it's very simple solution. Can we have a similar solution for uh, From functions from disk to uh, uh, domain in uh, C n, it's much harder. It's even um, in the C two. So mu synthesis interpolation problem um, uh, is uh, interpolation problem for analytic matrix function, uh, which generalized the classical. the <clears throat> operator norm of matrices by uh, some um, cost function. Uh, so we take uh, matrix uh, in uh, CKL uh, and uh, subspace uh, E from, uh, from CLK, and we define the structured singular value, it's notion which comes from engineering. So it's one over, and you take infinum over all norms of uh, matrix X from uh, this E, uh, such that identity minus M times X is singular. So, uh, of course, if uh, it's uh, identity minus MX is non-singular for all X, we said that uh, uh, mu sub E X is equal to zero. And uh, E could be, uh, uh, could vary, and therefore uh, those, uh, uh, the structural single value would be uh, different. And uh, mu synthesis interpolation problem uh, for given again distinct points lambda j and z and uh, now if we replace uh, those uh, 
a subject from C by uh, matrices from CKL. And we would like to construct, if possible, an analytic. So it's important here that we do want to have analytic K cross L matrix function uh, on Z uh, such that, so we, we have uh, interpolation, those conditions, uh, F at point lambda sub J is equal to uh, W sub J. And uh, we would like also we replace this modulus f of lambda less than or equal to one by uh, uh, this mu sub e f of lambda less than or equal to one for every lambda in z. So it's quite natural to, uh, uh, to design this problem. But uh, uh, of course, uh, I want to say that if you take k is equal l and e uh, equal to one and e is equal to c, then uh, mu sub e at point z is equal mod z and the mu synthesis problem is classical never linear big problem. If you take e as a whole space, uh, uh, then uh, mu sub e of uh, matrix A is uh, uh, operator norm. Uh, of matrix. And uh, we do concentrate here uh, in case when uh, k is equal L and uh, E is space of scalar multiples of identity. And mu sub E in uh, this case is going to be a spectral radius and uh, mu synthesis problem is a spectral Nevalina peak uh, problem. And uh, I would like to uh, to mention that uh, those uh, two cases uh, when the E is a whole space or E is uh, uh, C times identity, uh, they are extremal in some sense for any E, uh, e sub mu A is less than or equal to an operator norm. Uh, and if uh, K is equal to L, uh, then uh, E sub mu of A will be greater than uh, equal uh, than uh, spectral radius. So we have uh, this connection. And it's obvious that uh, if we take mu sub E to be a spectral uh, radius, so maximal modal lambda that lambda is an eigenvalue of A and uh, the spectral never linear peak problem will be we have this joint point in Z and we have matrices and we uh, would like to determine whether there exists an analytic map from disk to uh, C and cross N such that interpolation conditions are satisfied and uh, spectral radius of each matrix for each lambda in Z will be less than or equal to one. And so to, to solve it in the general case, uh, it's quite hard. I will uh, discuss uh, some results uh, by David Ogle and uh, uh, Castara, Constantin Castara. Uh, they have made some steps uh, for uh, this general case, but uh, the most progress has been made uh, in case when n is equal to two. And uh, in this case, uh, so if you look at uh, this condition, so if you look at this condition, uh, the spectral radius less than or equal to one, uh, it would be, uh, so we need to do interpolation in uh, uh, C2, two, so matrices, uh, two by two complex matrices, such that uh, spectral uh, radius uh, I can see that this with uh, strict uh, inequality, you can consider as uh, as an equal, and uh, and it's a, it's a quite a large domain, and uh, it's it was unclear how to uh, to start uh, dealing with this problem, and in attempt to solve uh, this two by two spectral Nevalina peak problem problem. Uh, G. Magla and Nicholas Young introduce a domain uh, which is known as symmetrized by disk. And uh, 
is defined uh, you can see is that uh, it, it's uh, you have uh, two uh, elements from z and you take sum and uh, you take uh, product of uh, those uh, so if you are uh, if you write a matrix and you have eigenvalues, then it would be a, a trace and determinant. And the, it, it's possible to show that the two by two matrix belongs to uh, omega, if and only if trace of A comma determinant of A is in G. Uh, so it it's gives idea if we can solve uh, this problem, uh, we might solve a uh, problem uh, with value in omega. And I would like to, to mention that uh, G is a non-convex, polynomial convex uh, domain. It has Lampert's property uh, that Chris Doric Bayashi matrix coincide, despite the fact that G is not even bihalomorphic to a convex domain. It was proved by Castara. And uh, it was uh, quite a long question. Uh, and uh, uh, people were quite excited when uh, uh, they found that uh, there, there are such domains. And closed, uh, symmetrized by this, it's clear how you define that you take Z1 and Z2 from closure of uh, D. This domain uh, symmetrized by disk has been studied by numerous authors, numerous mathematicians uh, over the past uh, 20 years. Uh, Nicholas and Jim start talking uh, about this domain and uh, studying it uh, in 1995. Uh, uh, he was visited, uh, visiting uh, San Diego and it was starting point for this uh, uh, topic and this collaboration. And uh, it has proved to be a domain with uh, very rich complex geometry and function theory. And I can't, uh, because I'm given only 45 minutes, so I can't uh, mention all uh, uh, beautiful things which uh, people uh, around the world proved about uh, this uh, uh, domain. But I do want to mention uh, uh, several uh, names uh, which contributed, significantly contributed uh, in developing of this domain. Uh, it's uh, Batacharya, Brown, Kastara, Zigarian, Yarnitsky, Kasinski, Nikolov, uh, Paul, Fluke, Sarka, uh, Shuaroy, Thomas, Tribula, Zvonik. And I'm sure that I missed someone, uh, so I'm sorry, but, uh, Today, I'm allowed to concentrate only on the um, uh, synthesis problem. So, interpolating uh, into G and into omega. So, Ugly and Young prove that uh, if you look at the, this interpolation problem, mu synthesis uh, 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 interpolation problem uh, where mu synthesis is spectral radius, then uh, if you are given distinct points and you are given complex uh, uh, two by two matrices, uh, none of them are scalar multiple of identity. This condition, uh, uh, when they are scalar multiple of identity, there is a much simpler way to, to deal with this problem. Uh, but uh, to give if and only if condition uh, is uh, the most, uh, the easiest to present it this way. And suppose S sub J is trace uh, of the given uh, matrix WJ and the P sub J determinant of uh, the given matrix uh, for each J. And then the following condition are equivalent. There exists an analytic two by two matrix function F uh, in Z such that interpolation conditions are satisfied and spectral radius uh, of uh, each matrix F of lambda, lambda for each lambda will be less than or equal to one. And, uh, and there is a second condition, there is an analytic function such that uh, we have this interpolation condition. So you can see that uh, gamma is in C2 and uh, we have uh, 
only interpolation conditions, it looks much simpler to uh, solve this uh, uh, problem. If we can solve this problem, we can solve uh, uh, that problem too. And uh, another condition uh, equivalent uh, uh, that there exists a rational gamma in a function from disk to gamma says that those conditions satisfied. Uh, here we a generalization of inner function. So you take uh, uh, analytic function from disk to gamma such that if you take radial limit, uh, then uh, it would be an indistinguished boundary. So like in the function uh, classical, it's T goes to T, uh, in here T goes to a distinguished boundary. And the distinguished boundary, it's very uh, easy to describe. It's um, Mobius band, and uh, it's mod of z is equal to model uh, mod of w. It's equal to one. So if we have studied those uh, functions, uh, and uh, uh, it's possible to use uh, this construction. So I would like uh, to give uh, there are other uh, construction of uh, rational gamma in the functions. Uh, but here, I would like to present um, function. Uh, so we have zeros of uh, S first uh, entry, and we have zeros of S squared minus 4P. It's called the royal variety. And if we have those zeros, then we can uh, construct rational gamma in a function. And construction is, uh, uh, is the following. So, T plus greater than zero, T belongs to R minus zero. And the first we construct rule polynomial uh, this way. So we are given the sigmas, we can write it easily. Uh, then the, we write E, uh, it it's, uh, would be part of uh, S divided by D. And we need to find the, the, those determinant uh, D. And uh, uh, the outer polynomial D of degree at most N could be found using uh, this uh, fair risk factorization. And uh, all conditions are satisfied and we can uh, do it. Of course, uh, to compute the such uh, outer polynomial, it's not the most easiest uh, uh, task if it's uh, a high dimension. And so an H could be constructed like E divided by D and the D tilde N divided by uh, D. So we have uh, uh, this construction. And uh, I would like to present uh, one of uh, possible uh, uh, construction uh, of uh, solution of uh, spectral Navalina peak problem. So how to, to deal with that? We can uh, use by previous theorem, uh, spectral Navalina peak problem to uh, inter inter interpolation problem uh, uh, from D to gamma uh, on holomorphic function, analytic function to close symmetrized by disk. We present uh, the duality between space of uh, holomorphic function and the uh, short class uh, of by disk. And the uh, function uh, capital phi uh, defined this way here uh, proved to be extremely uh, useful and it described points on gamma and we can uh, construct uh, duality between uh, this space and this space. And then when we can use a little bit space uh, model uh, for S2 to obtain necessary sufficient condition for solubility uh, whole the gamma uh, interpolation problem and the equivalently uh, spectral two by two uh, Navalina peak problem. And it could be a, a rich structure of gamma could be presented in this way. So we consider a set of holomorphic uh, matrix function 
we can see the holomorphic function uh, uh, from D to gamma, and then set of holomorphic function from D2 to D, and uh, a set of uh, pair of positive kernels uh, on the, by the subject of, of certain boundless condition. So if we start here, we if we know how to construct this function, we we have to know how to uh, lift this function to uh, holomorphic functions from uh, these to uh, C2. And uh, this part is easy to deal uh, for uh, uh, symmetrized by disk. But even uh, if we go to a poly disk for n equals to three, it's not obvious how to deal with this uh, uh, question. So, I will uh, show that it's possible to write this uh, way. I think uh, because uh, I need to go quicker. So it's duality between the whole D gamma and S2. And uh, short class on by disk by here. Uh, uh, using uh, Hilbert space model of Agla, we can have, uh, we can, for any function in S2, there is separable Hilbert space and the Hermitian operator on M, an analytic map from D2 to M, that this formula is uh, uh, hold. And uh, so this would be part of uh, our proofs and uh, what I want to to show is that if you if you look at uh, this uh, uh, capital five function then it has uh, possibility to have uh, kernels. So gamma, it would be uh, defined uh, this way here uh, using uh, lifting uh, from H uh, and uh, either this way. And uh, uh, you could see that uh, we, we can produce kernels from uh, this formula. Okay. And uh, so, Kernels for this diagram, it would be a, a positive kernels, and the n uh, has rank uh, at most one because uh, uh, function phi is uh, a linear, and uh, we we have uh, also this nice condition, and we can construct it because from a model formula for five we can find gamma and we can find eta, so we can construct two kernels here, and uh, the criteria for solvability of spectral uh, uh, never linear big problem is the following. So if we reduced to uh, analytic function from C to gamma, uh, then uh, for the any distinct point in disk and uh, SJPJ, which trace and determinant of uh, given W sub J, uh, this function exists, if and only there is a rational gamma in a function, which satisfies the same interpolation problem. But the most important right now for us is uh, that uh, for every distinct point, uh, uh, Z1, Z2, Z3 in the, uh, there exists a positive 3N square matrix N of rank at most one and uh, uh, M, uh, such that this uh, equation is satisfied. And we, we would like to use uh, this part to, uh, to suggest which way we can deal with um, spectral Nevalina peak problem. So if we uh, were given data, lambda, s, and uh, uh, those conditions, uh, 
we if we can find the n and m which satisfy the, this condition then we can construct gamma so we can uh, replace uh, that uh, criteria uh, by uh, the following so we have uh, distinct point in z we have uh, matrices complex matrices uh, two by two uh, with this condition none of them uh, uh, scalar multiple of identity, take trace and determinant, uh, take a distinct point on Z, uh, such that uh, we do uh, already uh, ask that S, J, P, J, uh, the distinct from uh, 2ZK, ZK uh, squared. And uh, let's put it in data. So if you remember, peak matrix uh, had, uh, uh, if you have positivity, then you can have solution. Of course, we, we don't have peak matrix here, but we can uh, uh, put data. So uh, ZPS is given. And we can put on diagonal lambdas and put on diagonal Z sub L. And uh, the following uh, condition will be equivalent that there is this uh, analytic two by two matrix uh, with, which satisfies this interpolation problem and uh, uh, with spectral radius less than or equal to one. And uh, second, there are positive three N square matrix N and M such that rank of N less than or equal to one, and this inequality is satisfied. So we do have an extra condition. We can't say that uh, it's um, linear matrix uh, inequality. We do have some uh, uh, additional condition. Uh, so it haven't been uh, uh, tested in the computers. Uh, but if it's possible, we do know that M and M are bounded. So we, we have to find those uh, matrices uh, on the bounded uh, sets. And uh, if uh, we can find the N and M, uh, which satisfies this uh, LMI condition with rank less than or equal to, uh, to one, uh, then uh, we can use straightforward linear algebra to apply uh, Southwest procedure, as we called it uh, in our paper, in order to calculate uh, uh, H, which will be a uh, analytic function from uh, rational analytic function from uh, disk to gamma, and which will give us a uh, solution. Uh, so suppose we have uh, such N and M and uh, because the n is the rank one, we can uh, find the uh, gamma j k here scalars, and uh, because uh, uh, m uh, m also it's a kernel, and uh, we choose uh, Hilbert space and vector such that we can present uh, uh, this way. Uh, choose a, a contraction a b c d from c to plus M to C2 plus M, such that uh, uh, A, B, C, D applying, we apply to one ZK, gamma J, K, lambda J, V, J, K, we have uh, uh, that it's equal, uh, this, uh, you remember that uh, capital phi function with, with this value, uh, gamma which comes from here and V which comes from uh, uh, this formula. And uh, then uh, because it's contraction, uh, then uh, H of lambda uh, could be uh, given uh, as a trace and determinant of uh, matrix uh, which uh, defined uh, as this way. So it's a way to, uh, uh, to use that criteria to make it um, like algorithm for uh, description of uh, those uh, analytic function. But of course, it's quite difficult to, uh, to find N and M, which satisfies those uh, 
a linear matrix and equality and condition that the rank of n is less than or equal to one. Uh, this is one of part which uh, I think uh, uh, now I hope that uh, it could be tested in uh, uh, in programs then to see if it's possible to find solution and the right uh, uh, function. But uh, another problem which we have considered, it was uh, uh, diag you take E to be uh, uh, as diagonal matrices that W from C and uh, we defined that we can define the mu diag. So when E is equal linear span of uh, diagonal matrices, uh, uh, then we can also translate the mu synthesis problem uh, by uh, defining uh, domain and uh, this mu synthesis problem will be equivalent to uh, uh, interpretation problem uh, from uh, disk to domain. And uh, it was done by uh, Michael White, Nicholas Young, and uh, their PhD student, uh, Abushara Allah. And uh, so they introduced the uh, Tetra block. Uh, which is uh, defined uh, this way. So it's uh, the main in C3. Distinguished boundary uh, has a little bit more structured solid torus uh, together with boundary, which is uh, two torus. And of course, there are some subtleties when uh, you have to deal uh, with distinguished boundary, which has its own boundary. So. Uh, Function in a function from uh, disk to uh, uh, distinguished bound uh, to a tetra block, uh, uh, which uh, connect uh, uh, unit so called to a distinguished boundary, uh, uh, much subtle uh, than uh, inner functions. And uh, they did prove uh, that uh, if you can see the so this distinct point Z, and uh, you can see the matrices uh, uh, such that the uh, mu diag of those matrices less than or equal to one. And again, uh, there are those uh, critical points and we don't consider, you can consider them uh, uh, separately, but uh, in uh, such cases, uh, uh, mu diag, uh, Interpolation problem uh, is uh, equivalent to a uh, uh, problem from uh, disk to the tether block. So holomorphic function uh, exists uh, with interpolation condition and mu diag of matrices uh, f of lambda less than or equal one uh, for all lambda d, if and only if uh, there is holomorphic function uh, from this tetra block with this interpolation problem. So we have uh, on diagonal uh, w11, w22, and then we take a determinant. And uh, the same as in uh, the case of uh, Symmetrized by disk, one can show that there is a restructure of uh, E, uh, much more subtle, uh, and uh, uh, there is similar solvability criteria, but uh, of course uh, with different uh, formulas uh, for interpolation problem uh, uh, from disk to tetra block. And th in this project, uh, uh, also David Brown, he was. Uh, my and uh, Nicholas Young PhD students, uh, he was involved in this project. Uh, there is dissertation which described uh, this uh, algorithm and criteria. And two other PhD students of ours uh, were involved in project to study uh, properties of uh, the tetra block and uh, a construction of uh, rational tetra inner functions. Also, they have uh, uh, dissertation, which uh, papers are published now. So uh, what I want to say is that uh, there are other uh, problems with synthesis. So we 
tried several, I think Tetra Block and Symmetra by disk, we had, uh, have got some criteria which we can uh, apply so we can try to get numerical solution uh, on them. Uh, Pentablock and uh, mu synthesis, uh, which came from uh, linear span of one and uh, Jordan form, uh, wasn't uh, so successful. Uh, we do uh, know that um, uh, in this case, we can get uh, uh, this uh, uh, matrix domain uh, and uh, the main in C2, uh, which connected this way. So mu synthesis A less, less strictly less than one, even only if uh, trace and determinant are insymmetrized by disk, but we have extra condition. We have uh, uh, A21 uh, for matrix and this supremum has to be uh, strictly less than one. And uh, we can prove uh, formula that um, so if you define B sub, uh, B sub mu as the main uh, which has uh, uh, mu synthesis uh, uh, so mu sub E A is strictly less than one and uh, we define the domain in C3 uh, such that uh, we take uh, triple uh, A to one trace and determinant for each matrix and uh, with this condition, then uh, uh, it, it's, it's easy to show that uh, A belongs to B sub mu, even only if P sub A uh, belongs to P sub mu. And P sub A, it's a map which goes from matrix to uh, uh, pentablock, uh, which defined the, the following way. So we have uh, uh, A to one entry trace and determinant. And uh, what I want to say is that, uh, so there is connection between uh, uh, pentablock and uh, uh, P of uh, B. Uh, and uh, we hope that we can use the rich structure of uh, uh, matrix ball to construct uh, uh, functions from uh, G to P and uh, leave them uh, to uh, uh, this mu synthesis ball. So lifting is quite important uh, in this case. Uh, but uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, so in one direction, of course, if you have uh, uh, this uh, function with uh, uh, mu sub e strictly less than one, then you apply here this pi and you will get analytic function from disk to p. Uh, but it, it, and it would be easy if we can solve this, can we solve uh, mu synthesis problem? Uh, but analytic lifting uh, in this case, uh, uh, does not work uh, easily. Uh, so if we have function which is from uh, holomorphic function from disk to the pentablock, and uh, if we know that this function leads to uh, this mu synthesis ball, even only if uh, there is no point lambda on disk uh, such that for some odd positive integer, alpha is zero of one over four S squared minus P of multiplicity N and alpha is zero of multiplicity greater than N. So it's clear that um, upshot of this above proposition and example is that uh, mu synthesis problem for uh, mu of E and interpolation problem for uh, in uh, analytic function from disk to uh, pentablock, uh, uh, quite lo uh, closely related, but uh, it, it's, it won't be helpful for solution uh, uh, mu synthesis problem. 
So there's still a, a problem to sort it out. And I do want to mention uh, this, I have four minutes. Uh, uh, as I said, David Ogle, uh, who was a PhD student of uh, uh, Nicholas Young, uh, when uh, Nicholas and uh, uh, Jim Maglov were working on symmetrized by disk, and uh, David Ogle was working with Nicholas on uh, polydisk. Uh, and uh, he wrote a beautiful uh, dissertation with a lot of results uh, with uh, operator uh, theory applications. Uh, uh, unfortunately, he uh, went and became big boss in uh, some uh, nuclear industry, and uh, this dissertation never published. Uh, uh, another uh, uh, PhD student, he was PhD student of Tom Ransford. He was much more successful to publish uh, several papers. And uh, uh, of course, uh, it's quite nice to have uh, uh, this uh, much more general setup for uh, spe spectral uh, novelina peak problem uh, and uh, I think his paper is beautifully uh, written uh, and uh, there is this connection which we had for uh, symmetrized by disk uh, uh, so if uh, you have a, a spectral uh, in the problem uh, and in this case n by n uh, complex matrices distinct points and again we we need to uh, restrict uh, on uh, uh, to avoid some um, matrices which provide critical points uh, for uh, the pi and the following conditions will be equivalent there uh, there exists analytic function uh, from this to omega sub n, it would be a spectral ball, aside that the interpolation conditions are satisfied and uh, there exists uh, analytic function from disk to uh, uh, gamma sub n, so a symmetrization uh, uh, which is analytic and uh, uh, gamma lambda j is equal to uh, and dimensional pi of uh, those W sub uh, j. And, uh, and of course, uh, it's uh, it's clear that the interpolation problem uh, into gamma sub n should be more uh, solvable than the interpolation problem to a, a spectral ball. Uh, even dimension, uh, this dimension is Cn and n squared. Uh, but uh, and both uh, David and uh, Constantine uh, have uh, done some um, some geodesics uh, in Costara paper, and uh, but uh, unfortunately. Uh, uh, how to solve this problem, uh, uh, none of them uh, tried to do. And uh, it's still open problem. And I do hope uh, that uh, it would be done because uh, if we want to uh, attract uh, engineers uh, to uh, our area, we need not maybe cases two by two or three by three, but we need uh, n by n or n by so that's all I would like to uh, give uh, some references so tetra block paper uh, then uh, case of uh, mu synthesis as uh, quadratics and different program uh, it was published in Siam journal and uh, Omar al Sal here and uh, Hadi al Shumari they published papers uh, on uh, tetra inner functions and uh, with Brown, we did uh, reach structure for tetra block. And Costara is extremely important to mention his paper on polydisc and David Ogle, uh, his PhD dissertation. Thank you very much. <laughs>